Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So I have a strange bug on one of my old applications. It's very weird. And I think it has to do with a server change, a security feature change that's dealing, that, ma that messes up rather uh, some of my form submissions. So I'm not going to get into too much detail because it's irrelevant, but here's the Here's a little learning for you as an advanced developer. So it's a mature application. It works 99% of the time. 99.95% of the time. But there's this weird bug that hits every once in a while. Once every two, three months, something happens and it triggers this bug. And so it affects a very small portion of the user base. So here's a problem that I have. A, it could be a big bug to fix, right? Uh, so there could be a significant cost in fixing it, you know, in terms of man hours, maybe a few thousand dollars. So that's significant. You know, you can buy a lot of sushi with $2,000. And it doesn't really have much of an impact on most people, like most people never experience it. Like I get, you know, an issue once every blue moon, but it's like, it's such a rare event. So I ask myself, is it worth spending the $2,000? This is a rough estimate. It could be 3000 could be 1500 who knows? Is it worth going through the trouble to fix this weird intermittent bug on legacy software? that impacts a very small fraction of people and it's not detrimental I, you know i just just do this and move on that's it so that's the question when you manage an old piece of software that's pretty stable except some third party hosting company uh messes things up for you do you fix it or you just sort of go mm. Mm, mm. it's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. We got bigger fish to fry. This is one of the decisions you have to make as a product owner, right? Sometimes strategically, even though it's not super clean in terms of implementation, sometimes you just got to deal with it. It's kind of like um, when you buy a house. So I bought my fancy condo here and I put in fancy marble, and I got fancy this and fancy that. And then there's like, uh, I was playing with magnets and I, whoosh, and I did a little tiny flicky, flicky chip on my very expensive marble. And it's like the size, it's like a literally like a size of a little flick. It's like, I have to look for it. But initially it bothered me. It's like, look at this damn thing. It's right there. It's right there. It's on my counter. I know it's there, but I have to look for it. And you have to say to yourself, is it worth trying to fix your huge piece of marble because of a tiny little thing? Of course, I tried fixing it and uh, the repair just flipped off because it's such a small little thing. So as you get more mature, you realize that the marble countertop with that little, boop, little thing, it's not such a big deal. Just got to let it go, let it go. Most people never see it. Same thing with software. So am I going to fix this thing? Maybe if I get more complaints, I'll put the time and effort into it. Uh, I certainly don't want to spend the, you know, the, the hours chasing down this little bug that will affect us. I may get a complaint about once every three months, you know. Anyway, there you go. These are some of the decisions you have to make. Code purity, application purity, although ideal, sometimes it's not terribly important. Sometimes you have to say, you know what, I got other priorities that are much more important. So we got to prioritize these things that are far more impactful than these little tiny things. Because if you get caught up in the minutia, on uh, trying to fix every little thing that that uh, has um, at best a marginal impact in terms of what's going on in your life uh, and in your software, you're going to be wasting a lot of time getting nowhere.